Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ERWIN data modeling tool tutorial. In today's session, we are going to see how to create a rela relationship between the tables or how to achieve cardinality in the model. So we know that, so there are three types of relationship available. First is one to one, one to many and many to many. So we are going to see details about this in today's session. But before going to jump into that, uh, as I told in the last session, I would like to show you how to show the domain just before any uh, element in your table. For example, suppose for before the first name, I just appended the customer. So that is nothing but the customer is the domain, uh, parent domain and which is the first name. Similarly, before the gender, if I want to show the customer, that is table name, how can I show? Just go to that uh, domain attribute, right click, go to the properties, and here you can add the parent domain. So there is an attribute specific you have to use, such as percentage sign owner entity, and you can use space, underscore, or any other character. So that will be shown here. So if I see now, the customer is appended to the gender. Similarly, if you create the employee and if you drag this gender, then employee gender will be created. Similarly, you can apply for the other attributes also. There is one more thing. Suppose <coughs> you don't want to create a unique identifier every time. For example, for the cust, cust ID is like unique identifier. For employee, it's employee ID. For the a supply it's a supplier ID so what I what we can do we can create one generic ID so I have created one more attribute inside the number so how to create just go to this click on the new and you can suppose you can add like this so if you go to the property it will show us so for example it is num it is it's a parent domain it's number and it is type now integer if you want to change its uh, data type you can change it is it applicable for the logical then select this etc if you want to add constraint you go go to that and add the validation or it is a constraint if you want to delete just select it and here is a delete button or you can select from the left hand side and use the delete button to delete that attribute so similar I created ID now I want to use this ID as a customer ID so how can I use so before using that what I'll do I will show you what properties I have used so if you see go to the general if you see I have appended owner entity and I will use underscore and then ATT domain so let's see how it goes and close it that is first thing I did then I remove this customer ID and or I can put in the below column list now I will drag down this customer ID now if you see the customer table name which is get appended with underscore and ID this is because at the property level I use the underscore between the owner entity and the domain attribute domain so that is the reason it is showing the underscore so by that way, suppose if it is supplier ID, it will create the supplier ID for us. If it is a product ID, it is create the product ID for us. So this is the way you can use the domain in your model. If you don't want to use, just go and update this property. For example, name and I will remove this property. And it will create a first name without using its a domain name. Now let's go back and see more detail about the relationship. At the top bar, you can see the various options about the relationship. First is identifying relationship. The next is many to many relationship. And third is non-identifying relationship. So we are going to see this relationship shortly. So before going to jump into that, so let's consider this scenario. Or consider any retail business where the there are various customer visit to the shop either online or they directly go to the shop marketplace and they buy something so if I consider that scenario so with that the customer will have the customer ID which is unique identifier for that 
then it's a first name last name and gender these are the common properties of course there are some several other properties will be there but for now consider this property this customer will go to the retail shop and buy some product so product will have the product ID then it will have the product name and the product description along with some other attributes now this product is coming to the retail shop and which is supplied by some supplier so there will be supply table so we like supplier ID supplies first name last name and its gender if it is an individual if it is a business then it will have the business name and other attributes consider the customer and the product so there is some relationship because customer buys the product so there is a, a relationship buy relationship so but one customer can buy the many product or many product can be sold to many customer so if you see the relation between the customer and the product it is many to many now consider the product and supply a one individual product will be supplied but that particular product will be supplied by the a single supplier for example a Johnson & Johnson company providing the moisturizer so that moisturizing product uh, that moisturizing product will be applicable or um, will be provided Johnson & Johnson moisturizer product will be supplied by the Johnson & Johnson company so something like that one to one relationship even it is not giving me the exact scenario but consider this product and supplier have the one and one relationship customer and product have many to many and product and supplier have the one to one relationship so this is just definition here I have mentioned the degree of relationship that is also known as cardinality is a number of occurrences in a one entity which are associated to the number of occurrences in other entity for example customer is one entity and product it, product is another entity so how many times occurrences will be occur that is nothing but the degree of relationship or cardinality there are three type cardinality one to one one to many and many to many so let's configure this kind of model in our data modeler so we already created one customer now we'll create the product and the supplier entities so I will create first a product entity just a product name so I will not add the uh, unique identifier but I will add the prod name product oh, sorry uh, product name and product description I'll keep the default value as it is and then I will create a supplier entity let's create supplier entity and what I'll do I'll drag these names first name last name and gender in the supplier so that I can inherit all these properties there is no I believe there is no relationship between the customer and the supplier there will be only one case when the supplier will be buy the product from the uh, retail shop so in that case supplier will become the customer but we are not going to go into that level uh, complexity so and uh, I will use this identifier attribute as a unique identity in the supplier also so let's see how it get populated just select and drag now you can see the supplier will be appended automatically so it's a so easy and so um, robust usage of this ID attribute so that is the reason domain is, domain is very helpful whenever you design a model now I'm going to create the relation between the customer and the product so what I'll do I will use a many to many select that and create it Um, so if we see the definition so I can add the parent to child phrase suppose parent means customer buy the product and the product uh, for example sold I will add you can add any appropriate relationship and close it
um, let's check some toolbar options okay now if you double click this it will show us cardinality options uh, let's it's a definition name etc then the trigger template style udp and notes it, these are the options we have and it is parent is customer and the child is a product now this is the logical view if you go to the physical view okay if you see this this is the logical if you go to the physical it will create one more table so that table is nothing but the association table so it has one to many relationship uh, means one customer will have the multiple product and one product have the oh sorry uh, between the customer product and customer relationship it is one to many and between the product and the customer product it is one to many so by that way we are achieving menu to menu relationship suppose i don't want to use this product id as a or customer id as a primary combination of primary key what i'll do i'll go here go to the domain section go to the number and i will use this id just drag here and it will create customer product id for us now some more details if you see this dotted line suppose um, if you change the disable if you want to disable this you can close and see that this got disabled let me what I'll do I will enable it again for example just double click on that cardinality disable it let's remove this then we have the comment section if you want to provide any comment role name ri action trigger template the same uh, attributes i can see here again udp notes extended note etc okay so this is the thing by which you can create many to many relationship now let's create one to many relationship i will go again logical uh, uh, data model view supplier and i will use this option uh, non identifying uh, relationship so product has one to one relationship so it will identify itself so by this way uh, you can see the oh, which is parent and which is child so product it is uh, giving me the parent so, but i don't want that so what i'll do i've deleted this relationship i want to reverse relationship so i should have the one parent and suppose like this so it will identify so this become parent so if you want to change the definition you can add the more properties to this also so by this way you can add any relationship in your model so basically there are three relationship one to one one to many and many to many but we cannot configure many to many uh, directly in the model so for to achieve that we have to use the um actually the association table which will have the primary key from the both the tables as a combination of their unique identifier in that association table if you do not understand these symbols whether it's many to many or it's so there are different kind of uh, symbols as can be shown here so i will explain you in this next upcoming session for now thank you for watching my video on the relationship or cardinality in the model if you have any questions you can mention your questions in the comment section of this video thank you and have a nice time